thank you to all the viewers who stayed with us through this amazing journey through Big Brother and the Cartoon Network contestants. This is the finale episode. If you haven't watched this, please make sure to do so. With 11 house guests evicted, we are standing at the final five. All of them had to work very hard, maneuver through the game, and do their social advantages to get to this point. We are about to do a double elimination following into the final three HOH competition. Now, immediately, them in the living room being told that there's going to be a final double elimination before the season concludes, I think they are immediately going into a frenzy, especially Mandy, because she knows if Chowder or Eddie were to win, there is a super high chance she definitely goes. And I think she immediately pulls Dee Dee into the library to like discuss like hey Dee Dee this wasn't really in the cards I didn't plan for this I was hoping this would like normalize until the end but we gotta think about this we gotta try the hardest we have ever tried now number five I think immediately she notices that Mandy talks to Dee Dee and not her especially since number five can't even be an HOH and Mandy might even plot to Dee Dee that you know if we don't win Number five is out, but not only that, so are one of us. So I think with them in the living room just processing this, Eddie's like, you know what? This could be the final three, you know. Me, you, and Chowder. To the end, we could genuinely do this. And in Eddie's mind, that is sort of a plan that he's not even super opposed to. But at the back of his head, he knows that he will have a much harder time beating these two than he will Dee Dee or Mandy. So I think maybe, you know, he says he's got to go to like the bathroom or something. And so he sneaks off into the library. He's like, look, Mandy, Dee Dee, I got to do a final pitch. Let me be real with you. I know that you two, along with number five, are in an alliance. That's probably a really big deal, especially since number five has confirmed basically that she was in alliance with you two. And Dee Dee, she's a little flabbergasted. Her mouth is open. She's like, number five. I did that the number five why is this house full of doo-doo heads? Like, Dee Dee pissed as hell. And Mandy's like, so what are you trying to get at? What are you proposing? And he's like, well, basically, I think all three of us know that number five and Chowder would wipe the floor with us. So I think that we should get them out right now. This should be the three. No matter what happens, we have to focus on what's best for us and our chances. And then Dee Dee, she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hey, wait a minute. I kind to like Chowder low-key and Chowder hasn't really won too much of anything the only thing he's done that's like really notable is he has survived I think three double eliminations because Dee Dee has shit memory and so Eddie's like so you, you just want me out then and not only has he won stuff but YouTube voted for him in the beginning to have a special power no offense Eddie but you are kind of a threat as well and Mandy hearing Dee Dee I think she immediately like like Dee 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 Dee, Dee little, little, little. we need this this three this is a three chance at winning the hoh and guaranteeing herself i think you're selling yourself short dd you've won stuff too and you have made plays in the game and dd i think she just kind of looks at mandy and eddie she's like well we'll have to see and then she just like goes into the kitchen i feel like mandy probably comes out talks to number five in the living room in which i think eddie might join either that or eavesdrop now this is probably when i feel like dd Dee Dee pitches to chowder like chowder i won't even lie out of everyone here you're the only one who hasn't outright lied to me or tried to swindle me or harm me in any way everyone else i feel like discards my feelings and doesn't try treat me as an actual player i think it could actually be me and you because why does mandy deserve to win when half of her game is mine anyway half of her game is number fives not to mention she just uses eddie so why should eddie win like yeah he got the power and whatever he won a challenge here or there but his social gameplay he's just kind of been an extra riding on the coattail of plans and then chowder's like well i actually kind of like eddie and Dee, Dee laughs she's like like Eddie, he was just in the HOH room or whatever room with me and Mandy not five minutes ago talking about getting your ass out of here. What you mean you like him? And Chowder, he's hearing this. He he doesn't know if he even believes it, Loki. He's like, like, dead ass. And Dee Dee just confirms it. I just feel like 
chowder i don't know if he fully believes her but it is something to take into consideration number five i feel like explains like mandy and eddie like i, I kind of know i'm being targeted i'm not oblivious i can pick up the signs around me i'm a challenge threat for the final three competition both you guys know that and let's be honest i'd beat both your bitch asses at the end so let's just be real get this over with because i ain't handling fakeness mandy i won't even lie i knew you were a snake two and a half weeks ago and eddie you're just talking to whoever you can to keep yourself in the game neither of y'all deserve to win so I'm, I'm gonna just head over here low key and i think mandy and eddie are now flabbergasted because they kind of found themselves you know in the majority a little bit maybe either way but now we got number five dd and chowder all talking in the kitchen in which like number five is look Dee, Dee i'm gonna be honest with you I, I might have said your name here or there but that's only because mandy wanted to get you out number five you know she has to lie a little bit but she doesn't care like finn said get her before she gets you and she's trying to get mandy she doesn't need to win hoh to stay she just needs the vote and here two of them are right here and Dee, Dee hearing the confirmation that number five at some point was willing to target at her even though her and mandy have both all been our side that does make her mad but now she's dummy pissed at mandy because she's like no way mandy actually said that dead ass no way and number five i feel like i promise you dd Dee Dee, i'm not lying chowder me and him have been friends this entire time for the most part we we've been chill i've never lied to chowder i won't lie to you again i promise mandy's goal is to get her and eddie to the final two because she knows she can beat him i mean look at look at them right there in the living room i feel like dd she says bet and she marches over she's like mandy you'll never guess what a little birdie just told me and mandy she looks on and mute. she's like oh my god more and then Dee Dee's like yeah basically you have a plan with eddie which now that i think about it makes hella sense because yo ass was trying to save him around every corner you could you just tried to throw number five under the bus not 10 minutes ago when over the entirety of the season, you apparently won me gone. Mandy's like, whoa, hold the fuck up. I've never talked about targeting you directly or indirectly. Dee Dee, you have always been my number two. And in this, you know, Mandy actually means that. Because Dee Dee is actually realistically mandy's number two pause but she also told that to eddie at one point i feel like eddie's like wait 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 wait. you said i was your number two and mandy's now like oh fuck fuck she's like listen both of you know that my chances at winning in the end are slim especially due to jury perspective so stop trying to do last minute strategizing with your feelings and play with your head Dee, Dee stop being dumb and Dee, Dee she she gets i don't know she's stomping mad boy she hopping mad she said your eyebrows one inch away from being squilly and fancy son where'd you get your fucking haircut at super cuts pac-man fuck out of here i'm talking with the boy i feel like eddie he doesn't leave mandy entirely he's just like so so what's up <laughs> what's good i don't think eddie wants to eliminate her entirely because she might win hoh and speaking of which after a good day sleep it is day 64 where the remaining house guests must face off in the next hoh challenge later we will see who the jury vote to win now this one will show how badly you want to win this game this is endurance and strength pressed for power it is very simple your arms will be fully stretched holding two buzzers with just one finger while you're standing straight up if either of your fingers let go of the button you are eliminated and so as the challenge starts i think immediately all the house guests are looking at each other this challenge is different. This one is coming from power within. They know that this is all or nothing. Dee Dee, long ass arms. That might make that shit hurt a little bit more. Chowder, I don't know if he got the muscles. Mandy, she has like a good drive. So she might be able to do this. And Eddie, he is pretty strong. Well, not strong, but when he wants something, there is like a hidden power that comes from within. I'm even willing to say there is 30 minutes without any movement, but suddenly there is is some movement from both Mandy 
and Eddie. Mandy almost slips her finger off, but she quickly get it back on. Where I feel like Eddie might have been, you know, like trying to look at his arm, flex because he's bored. And then next thing you know, uh, he is accidentally eliminated from this challenge. 33 minutes in. We do not see our next movement until over an hour has gone by for the challenge duration in which I feel like Chowder, he's basically crying, he's straining, even the, the goofy animation is being brought out to depict how tired he is, which means it is Mandy versus Dee Dee trying to secure their place in the final three. Chowder and number five are so worried for Mandy, where Eddie, I feel like, is kind of rooting for her. Dee Dee's arms are wobbling. Mandy's arms are wobbling. They're stinging. 112 minutes have now passed. They both look like they want to cry. They both look like they're in immense pain. Mandy can probably hide it a little bit better, but I definitely think it does not feel good. And after 154 minutes, I feel like Dee Dee says something like, Hey, I can't even feel my arms anymore. This is great. You know, she just looks fine because her arms are like, you know, cartoonishly dead. And Mandy's like, oh, all right, all right, Dee Dee, look at me. Me and you, final two, I promise. I will drop out right now, give you all my trust, and give you the final HOH. Please do not nominate me if I drop out. And Dee Dee, she kind of thinks about it. She knows that two people are about to leave and she would kind of like it to be Mandy and Eddie. But she also does recognize that number five is a huge threat to win. So perhaps this could be the excuse she needs. She's like, you know what, Dee Dee? I won't betray you. I'll tell you everything, Dee Dee. Just please. And Dee Dee's like, you know what? All right, fine, Mandy. Fine. Drop out now and I promise you safety. And which Mandy folds and Dee Dee, congratulations! You are the HOH and guaranteed into the final three. I'm sure Dexter would be proud and or flabbergasted. And immediately, I feel like everyone wants to talk to Dee Dee, but I think she says, hold on, one at a time. And I think the first one she invites, especially to show trust and whatever, is Mandy. She's like, all right, Mandy, you promise it's me and you to the final two, not Eddie me and you and mandy's like yes i promise you Dee Dee. and Dee Dee's like all right well that being said i want you to know i am not nominating chowder i am going to nominate number five and eddie and mandy this kind of like bugs her and annoys her but what is she gonna do say no she's like yep yeah, uh, that's un uh, that's understandable Dee, Dee. i i fully understand that as long as you don't nominate me and Dee Dee's like well you have to promise if i don't nominate you since you're the only vote you have to use it to save chowder you cannot evict chowder and mandy she says don't worry i'm gonna use my vote to save chowder i promise it's me and you to the end but in the back of her head she's like hell no nah, bro the first chance i get chowder's gone and so I feel like after that talk, it is now Chowder's turn, in which Dee Dee is like, Chowder, I just want to say that I want us, me and you, in the final three, and Chowder, you know, he's happy to hear this, and she's like, but I do have to nominate you, but I promise that Mandy will not evict you. And Chowder's like, girl, what? What you talking about? Of course she's going to evict me. And Dee Dee, she's taken aback. She thought Chowder would love this idea, but Chowder's like, Dee Dee, Mandy has shown no signs of like keeping her word or trusting at all. Why would you do it now? She has even more reason to lie now than she ever has before. She's so close to the money, Dee Dee. And you know, in Chowder's mind, he's like, Dee Dee, more like dumb dumb. And Dee Dee's perk 30 popping ass. She's like, well, Mandy gave me her word. And and, you know, you can always win veto when Chowder's like, oh, brother, I'm gone. And Dee Dee's like, no, Chowder, I promise everything will turn out fine. Can you send in number five, please? And Dee Dee, I think she kind of knows that number five is probably going to get out and target. But she's like, number five, I just want to let you know that I don't really want to target you. I, I kind of do like you. You're, you're a nice person for the most part. And I'm so glad I got to play this game with you and we got this far together. 
I could have been stuck in the final five with Ice King and Billy and Knuckles, but instead I'm here with you and Chowder, and I appreciate that. And number five, I think she respects that answer very much. And number five is like, if I win veto, I want you to know that I will use it on myself and I will vote to evict Mandy. And Dee Dee hearing this, this plan almost sounds like good. Like she almost wants to pursue this plan. But Dee Dee is also in here to win. They, no one is here this far not to win. Dee Dee wants to. She wants to prove to Dexter that she can do it on her own. And she knows in order to do that, she has to get the jury vote. And then last but not least, we have Eddie talking to Dee Dee. And Eddie's like, all right, Dee Dee, what's up? You nominating me? And Dee Dee, she's like, yeah, I, I kind of am. And I think immediately Eddie is like, yeah, I kind of expected that. Is there any way I could make you a deal? Like, I know you like Chowder, so how about if you don't nominate me, I won't vote to evict Chowder if I win veto or if you just don't nominate me, period. I will tell you this, Dee Dee, right now, if you do nominate me, I will vote to evict Chowder once I win veto. So it's a threat, but also a promise at the same time. I know you didn't call me in here to tell me I was safe or to talk gameplay. You do what you want. And with that, I feel like he plays probably a little bit of darts with number five. You know, just release like some anger or like some anxiety. And Eddie's like, you know, number five, me and you aren't entirely like super different. I think we have similar mindsets in the game, similar attributes. Why have we never talked? Why didn't we ever align? And then I just feel like number five is like, you know, good question. It's not like you're bad or anything. You're actually pretty good with like coming up with ideas and you're kind of charismatic with a people's person way i guess the game just had us in different alliance and with that Dee, Dee, it is now time for the nomination ceremony ultimately you're only allowed to save one person so instead of nominating just please tell us who is the one person you are not nominating and i feel like with all the conversations she had with them this is a tough one as she kind of want to save both of them you know both being chowder and mandy but ultimately she wants to keep her word and she has decided to not nominate Mandy. Mandy is grateful and she's like, all right, Dee, Dee I see the honest game you're playing. I'll remember this. Day 67, the day of veto and the day before the double elimination. Number five's like, today's the day, the day I win. And Mandy's like, yup. Yo, Chowder's probably already cooking in the kitchen. Eddie is waiting for his play. I wouldn't be surprised if Eddie, like, eats some food, asks Chowder for more, eats that. Chowder probably cooks for, like, a good three hours. Not only to feed them, but himself. Because Chowder can pack some food away. He's a walking fridge. Hey, Finn, you see that missing tooth right there? I, th I think Chowder stole that shit. Just peeking out. As it has been, everyone gets to play in the final five veto. Everyone needs needs wants and craves this power power has never meant so much in this game the game is caged eggs you have to get eggs through a wire cage to their destination through a very complicated puzzle so patience time a little bit of luck dedication there are four different puzzles the last person to complete each one is eliminated from the competition go i think chowder immediately frantic dropping eggs maybe even eating them when they drop not even going on the ground dd maneuvering number five doing pretty well maneuvering gets hit by a roadblock mandy tries to maneuver also gets hit by a roadblock everyone kind of getting hit by roadblocks more than others eddie was so close but dropped his and it cracked he has to start over but at least he knows where he has to go this time congratulations number five on the first one being done with this puzzle followed by mandy since she was taking her time trying to be precise and straight strategize it eddie then finally recompletes his meaning it's Dee, Dee and chowder Dee Dee's like a little sad that's between them but at the end it is Dee, Dee who ends up taking the dub as we go on to the next round this one a little bit more complicated there are spikes meaning it might poke your egg and crack it and that's what i think immediately happens to eddie at number five mandy is the first one i feel like would complete puzzle two along with eddie his luck is a little bit good but so is number fives. All right, Dee Dee's a little upset because she kinda 
in the back of her head wanted to get the power of veto, use it on Chowder, but now she just has to hope that maybe Mandy will win and keep her word. She didn't nominate Mandy, so this should hopefully play out in her favor. As the next challenge starts, this one has like a timer that moves the like maze and it might cause the player to drop their eggs. This happens a lot to Eddie and number five. Mandy kind of keeping a still hand, allowing her to win. Eddie almost drops his, in which number five does, and as he continues, she once again, a couple minutes later, drops hers again, unfortunately giving Eddie the time he needed to become the final two of this challenge. Mandy, Eddie, both wanting veto, both for different reasons. Now with them doing the final challenge, it is going to be the hardest one, the most complex one, and ultimately it's been skill that provided this challenge, but I'm gonna use the luck portion finally. And I'm so sorry, Mandy, but the winner of veto is Eddie, just like Dee Dee. Eddie is guaranteed in the final three. Now it is up to Mandy, number five, and Chowder to try to plead with Eddie to get his vote. There is no time to waste on a double eviction night, which is right around the corner. Eddie, I, I don't think it's going to be a surprise, but what do you do with your veto? And he says, obviously, I'm gonna save myself. I'm gonna be guaranteed in the final three. Let's go, woo. Mandy, because of that, you're the only option as a replacement nominee. Mandy, Chowder, and number five, all three of you will have a couple seconds to plead your case to Eddie and why why he should vote to let you stay. Mandy, I feel like she stands up and says, obviously, Eddie, think it's quite clear that Chowder and number five would both probably beat you and I in the end. So I think it would be an ignorant move on your part to evict me. Keeping me will most likely help your game and let you win. And when Chowder stands up, I feel like he says, you know, Dee Dee told me that if she didn't save you, you would vote to evict me. And I don't think that that is fair or right to evict and end my game over someone else's actions. I have done nothing but feed you, showed you kindness, and ultimately at the end of the day, I do wish you reflect on the past and how well I've treated you comparison to the others. I've treated you like a friend and a person, not just as a player. Not only would I be grateful if you let me stay, but so would Dee Dee. Now this is when I feel like number five stands up and she's like, Eddie, me and you just had a talk about why haven't we played this game together yet. Everyone is so quick to point out that I'm a jury threat or whatever, but that just means I'm a nice person. Shouldn't nice people win sometimes? And don't think I haven't done stuff to earn my spot here. I've done stuff to earn this. Mandy has kind of been carried by Dee Dee a little bit and the alliances she created out of false allegations and lies. Chowder, you know, she kind of looks at Chowder and she's like, Chowder, I appreciate you. You're a wonderful dude, but you have to be honest with everyone. You would be everyone in this room right now. And this is why I feel like Chowder's like, well, so would you. I, I probably wouldn't even be you so i don't know why you'd bring that up and this is why i feel like mandy jumps on the train to like maybe not get evicted she's like yeah even i would vote for you over chowder number five and number five she just rolls her eyes seeing through mandy's words she's like regardless eddie i do think me and you have a solid game to the final two together and with that being said it's obviously not a secret so eddie stands up to publicly choose to evict who he has to eddie who is the first person you evict that that gets fifth place and eddie he's thought about this quite a lot even you know he was thinking about it before he even got veto you're always thinking about the game in this game and in this game he would really like to win he wants to prove to the cul-de-sac he's just not another ed boy he's not part of the three he's him fuck the big three it's just big me this is what i do number five i'm so sorry I vote to evict you. And immediately, I feel like Mandy nods her head. Dee Dee is a little bit sad, but she expected this. Number five was like, yeah, I didn't really expect my speech to do anything. But I didn't want to go off, you know, just doing nothing. I appreciate all, all of you guys. You guys made this a journey for me. Shouter, Mandy, I'll see one of you two in a second. But there it is. Number five in fifth. Number two in second. Second out, that is. Honestly, number two, you could have done this this game a lot better you're not even a bad character you just got caught up not doing alliances or anything you should have worked like number five did you would still be here probably because you're not bad now with that 
it's a little sad. I feel like Chowder might even be like about a shredded tear. And Eddie's like, you know, I think in this game, the jury not only appreciates, you know, honor, kindness, you know, beasting at challenges, but they also, I believe, would appreciate a big move. Moves that have been done have always been conformed in alliances, but never taking someone out as like a prize. Mandy, you are so much better than Chowder at every challenge. No offense, Chowder. Your cooking is amazing. If there was a cooking challenge, you would beat her. And not only that, Mandy, but I kind of feel like whoever gets you out wins the game. I feel like getting you out a full of jury who don't like you, that would be a huge plus on my part. And like you even said, the jury don't like you. So they would love me for doing this. I'm so sorry, Mandy. I vote to evict you. Mandy, in her mind, it, it's like a nuclear bomb just went off. But, you know, she just twitches her eye a little bit. She's like, all right, fine. Bet. Good luck, Dee Dee. I, I hope you win the game and my vote will be going towards you. And there Mandy goes. I did not expect to ever see her on the memory wall. That's almost a sad sight. But here we have it. The final three, Dee Dee versus Eddie versus Chowder. The final three we have all been waiting for. They are immediately going to head into the final three HOH challenge part one. The first part of the HOH challenge is swing slam dunk. Swing back and forth trying to hang on to your rope while sitting on a disc. It's going to get faster at some point. It's going to get like more rough. Pause. It is endurance and trying not to get thrown off your disc. Chowder I feel like has a death grip on it so does Dee Dee and Eddie all of them wanting this so bad it's hard to do like a visual representation at like what happens over the span of like an hour because they ain't letting go for nothing but they are getting like bumped swinged hit against the wall and I won't lie I think chowder might actually have an advantage by being squishy because it like impacts more of the blow where i think Dee, Dee will probably be the first one knocked off leaving eddie and chowder clinging to it and i think probably like another 30 minutes later eddie's you know seeing chowder chowder is good chowder is like clinging to it i think eddie probably thinks you know i can be Dee Dee in whatever the next challenge is. So you know what? He's like, chowder, chowder, chowder. Congratulations, you won. <laughs> and then drops off, congratulations, chowder. You've won part one of the HOH. Dee Dee and Eddie will now face off in part two. Two. And part two, I'm just gonna say what the game is. It's the root beer version of beer pong. First person to successfully get the other cups win. Dee Dee might have a little bit of an advantage since her arms long as shit. Some damn hockey sticks coming out of her body. Pause. It is 10 cups Dee Dee, 10 cups Eddie. I think after like 10 minutes, we might see eight cups Dee Dee. Yo, know, she hasn't got one, but then eventually she does, followed by another, and then a success successful rebound shot. Eddie, however, pulls out a rebound shot of his own, in which afterwards, after Dee Dee misses on her turn, he gets another one, and then another one. Dee Dee keeps missing, 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 giving Eddie a little bit of a chance, even though he misses some, he gets another one. Dee Dee's starting to sweat now, she's focusing, bam, and then bam. Eddie gets one, Dee Dee's very afraid, bam. She afraid, she's not fade. Loses another one, now she's super afraid. Followed by another, but then out of nowhere, Dee Dee goes, bam, sinks another shot. With only two left, it's so sad, but Eddie does indeed make the last cup, which means she has one shot. She makes it in his cup, she's still in the game. If not, she loses. She shoots her shot. It slow mos in the air, zooming in on Dee Dee's shot, and it goes right into Eddie's cup, meaning she's still in the game, but he immediately gets it back in her cup again, and she doesn't make it, which means she out. Congratulations, Eddie! You have won beer pong and the final part to this HOH, which means it is now you versus Chowder to take home the win, guaranteed in final two. One of you will have to worry about jury 
and the other one will have to worry about the other. The final two are facing off in jury statements. House guests try to finish off the statement the juror says. So there's going to be a sentence. In this version, they will say something as a jury and the house guests will have to buzz in who they think that is. The first one to four points win. Which jury member accidentally fell into the pool three times this season? The answers are locked and congratulations Chowder, you have received one point. It was Rigby. He fell in the first week, got pushed, and then accidentally tripped falling in the second week and then near the end of his stay, he was coming back, you know, to the house after a veto challenge and then tripped and fell in. Which house guest annoyed people by stealing and eating from the fridge? The correct answer is Ice King. Eddie gets the point. Ice King was here for only one week and he ate the food. No wonder his ass got evicted. It didn't help that Finn was like bothering him. Which jury member actually voted to keep Ice King and wanted to work with him? Once again, Eddie is correct with the answer being Knuckles. On week three, which house guest attempted to make toast only for the toaster to catch on fire and have to be replaced by production? All right, both of those answers are actually wrong. The answer was also once again Rigby. Which house guest attempted to make a radio out of scratch before production had to come in and take it away? Chowder is right. It is number two. I don't blame Eddie for saying double D though. That does sound looks like something he would do. As it stands, it is a tie. Which house guest had the most alliances this season? I kind of thought this was an obvious one, but apparently not to Chowder. Eddie, that is right. It was Mandy. This potentially could be the final question. Which house guest got evicted for the sole reason they only wanted to have humans in the house? Both of you had the right answer, but Eddie buzzed in quicker. Congratulations, Eddie. You are the final HOH of the season guaranteed in the final two in which just a moment you must make your very hard decision to either vote to evict Chowder or Dee Dee. So I feel like this is probably like a solitary moment for Eddie. Like he's like, holy shit, I did it. I somehow got here to the final two Double D, I don't think, thought I could do it. Before I left, you know, Kevin basically just told me a dork like me wouldn't ever get here. Chowder has been here with me since day one. Voting to evict him now not only would suck, but it might get jury members against me. On the other hand, Dee Dee has made some en enemies, such as like Panini, who's been on the jury for a while. But at the same time, if I keep Dee Dee and vote to evict Chowder, Chowder will most likely tell the jury, especially Panini that Dee Dee has learned from her mistake or just a cover-up story. Eddie's really thinking about this. You know, it's a hard decision for him. And, you know, I feel like he even says that. He's like, I didn't expect this decision to be so difficult. I walked into this game not really expecting to make friends while I'm walking out with about 13 of them. Yeah, that's right. I don't like all of you. <laughs> Cry about it. But I also walked into this game with the mindset of winning. And I can't let that slide. I live in a family that my mom and dad work so much they're always out of screen time. My brother, you know, took my dad's position and then left just like my dad, which is hilarious. I'm here for the money. I got me to look after. I got Eddie to look after. I got Double D to look after. And so for that reason, I have to ba make the best possible move for my game. I'm sorry, Chowder. I do vote to evict you. And like that, unfortunately, Chowder, it is your time, which which means Dee Dee and Eddie, congratulations to the two of you. Both of you have made it as far as you possibly could have to your own self-worth and actions. Now, the winner is solely based on jury. There was never a timeline where both of you win. We will now bring out the jury. So I think with them finally being able to see, you know, the house guests that they've missed so long, Eddie's like, holy shit, it's been a while. What's up, Double D? It's been like five weeks since I've seen you. It's been over a month. You know, Double D just kind of waves. You know, Dexter is hyped. He, he's bouncing like a jelly bean excited for Dee Dee getting this bread because he's for sure going to use that machine on her where she forgets and then just takes her bank account. Rude as fuck. 
fuck. So Chowder, I feel like, you know, he he goes first and he's like, I just walked out of the house. I literally just saw both of you. My question is for Didi. Didi, you have to admit, you kind of spent the majority of the game arguing with my partner. You're kind of the sole reason my partner got out. In which Eddie, yeah, he's never really talked gameplay to me. He didn't talk to me like as friendly as you did, but he didn't really like target too many people and he got Mandy out, which I think we can all agree is good. Why should we vote for you to win? I think Dee Dee immediately states, you know, she has won challenges. She isn't here because she followed this or that. If anything, most of you guys can say that Mandy was under my shadow. A lot of people think Mandy's the mastermind, but I was the person that always had to use my vote to get things done. Mandy was always in a whatever position of power, but if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have been able to do such powers. Not to mention, can we remember, hello, rewind, some challenges she won are literally because I dropped myself out so she could. I didn't want a target on my back. Mandy was okay with that. That's why Mandy's out there and I'm in here. In which I feel like Mandy, she's immediately like, all right, Dee Dee, bet. My question for you is, how are you gonna say I put a target on my back and you didn't when you publicly argue with not only Panini and Chowder, but others as well after rightfully, by the way, voting to evict Dexter because he was targeting people off of Bices. And Dee Dee, this kind of stuns her, and she's like, you know what, man, you've been a bitch since day one, next. And so number five, you know, Dee Dee didn't want to answer that question, bro. Number five is, my question is to Eddie. Me and you have talked, but we weren't in an alliance like me and Dee Dee. Why should I vote you over Dee Dee? And immediately, I feel like Eddie says, the double evictions weren't easy to maneuver through them. I had to put in a lot of work. If you you were to vote for me not only are you voting for me to win but you're voting youtube's player to win they voted me and so i think rigby finn and all the jury ask their questions you know an individual amount you know dd saying she sh should win because at the end of the day she was an alliance she was loyal to that alliance and that's why she stuck with her decisions eddie was doing stuff out of his own self-interest only looking out for himself and yeah i got mad at some people but that was because my brother got evicted week three i had to spend over two months in this bitch without him where eddie you got to have your partner for numerous weeks after mine so yeah i got mad but as at least it was for a sympathetic reason and not out for myself like eddie was in which i feel like some contestants like ice king knuckles dexter they'd be like well this is a game about maneuvering you have to look out for yourself but you're saying don't look out for yourself but dd i don't see mandy up there with you i don't see number five up there with you this alliance you had they ain't up there with you so you are there for reasons of your own volition, which everyone should respect. And without further ado, let's get to the votes and who will win the Big Brother season. It takes eight votes to win. All right, got the keys. Each key represents a jury's vote. Pulling out the first key, Chowder has voted for Dee Dee to win. Mandy has voted for Dee Dee to win. Number five has casted her vote for Dee Dee to win. Rigby has casted his vote for Eddie. Finn has casted his vote for Eddie. Panini has casted her vote for Eddie. Double D has casted his vote for Eddie. Knuckles has casted his vote for Eddie. That is five to three. Flapjack has casted his vote for Dee Dee. Mordecai has casted his vote for Eddie. That is six vote four. Billy has casted his vote for Dee Dee. Dexter has casted his vote for Dee Dee. It is down to number two and Ice King. I believe they both have reasons to vote either one, but they both have voted one person together. I'm gonna pull out both keys at the same time. And congratulations, the canon winner of Big Brother is Eddie. Congratulations, you have done a lot to get here. You have gone through alliances, broken alliances, made little alliances. You have talked your game. Double D almost ruined both your games by that huge scientific bullshit speech he gave. Yo, here's the 750k check. I'm sure your life is gonna be much better now. Double D hugging him so proud. 
Dexter a little mad, but you know, he says, don't worry, sister, you did great. I am proud of you. I expected you to be out before me, let alone being in the finals. You did good. I feel like everyone kinda hugs Dee Dee. Panini hyped as hell that bitch lost. She wasn't, li Chowder came in the jury. He was like, well, Dee Dee's not that, and Panini's like, fuck off, bro. She got me out, I ain't hearing it. Congratulations, Eddie, you won so many challenges. YouTube voted you a couple times. They clearly liked you, your charisma, and your drive to win. With both of them voting for the same person, the winner of Total Drama Big Brother Cartoon Network, congratulations, Dee Dee! You have worked through this entire game. You made alliances. You were in the majority alliance. After Dexter left, you didn't knuckle drag. You didn't like cry or whatever. You did cry a lot. You were bitching. But you took that energy and put it into anger. You put it into faith and you put it into will. You made alliances and you knew that Dexter getting out was a wake up call. You had to do what you had to do. And I think even with the attitude you had sometimes, you played an amazing game. You definitely deserve this $750,000 check. Here, let me let me whisper to Dexter real quick. De Dexter, if, if you steal that money, I will tell your parents about your lab. You loaf of bread lab rat. Congratulations, Chowder Hugging Dee Dee. He's very happy. Mandy's like, you know, it's not me. But Dee Dee, I am proud of you. I mentored you. Good job. Dexter, you know, even though he just got a threat by me, he doesn't even know how I know about his lab. But he's like, Dee Dee's sister, you did great. You know, Dee Dee's thing about all the ponies she can buy. Eddie, if he would have won, he's for sure getting millions of jawbreakers. He gonna buy like... 500,000 bundle for like 20 grand. Dee Dee might even start getting her own lab. That way she doesn't have to bother Dexter anymore. Give her parents the life they want. That way her dad don't gotta work. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. Please let me know in your opinion who you believe the canon winner is. If you watch this entire series, thank you very much. I can now start finally working on Yokovachi Island. If you haven't seen that, please make sure to search up the trailer and watch it. Let me know in the comments, like I said, who do you prefer to win? And I dare every single one of you to have a good day. Also, if you could see any four of these people be brought back for maybe a Survivor season, which four do you think deserve a second chance at a reality TV show game? Stay safe.